Welcome to episode 337, Kirk Kerkorian 10 Lessons. This is an outline of episode 337, lesson 1 to lesson 5. This is an outline of episode 337, lesson 6 to lesson 10. Lesson number 1, Most Difficult Childhood. He worked at age 9 to support his family. When you are a self-made man, you start very early in life. In my case, he was a 9-year-old when I started bringing income into the family. He dropped out of school at grade 8 to become a boxer. Lesson number 2, he's a natural-born hustler. When he wanted to be an aviator, he exchanged aviation letter with milking cows for pancho barns. The great woman aviator in the 1930s. Lesson number three, he risked his life to make his first fortune. During World War II, he flew across the Atlantic for $1,000 per trip for the Royal Canadian Air Force. He took the riskier north route through the frozen Arctic to reach England. Lesson number four, he's a serial entrepreneur. These are the four businesses he founded and sold. First, airline. Second, land speculation. Third, building the largest hotel complex in the world. Fourth, corporate raider of Chrysler and GM. Each time, he trusts his own instinct. That's a number five. He's an intensely private person. He never granted an interview. He never talked about himself. He hardly show up in any event. Lesson number six, he's the first one to dream big in Las Vegas. When he built MGM Grand in Las Vegas in 1993, MGM Grand was the biggest hotel complex in the world. Lesson number seven, he hires only the best and let them run the business. The thing about Kirk is that he's always hired the best people in his mind that there are out there and lets them do their job. Fred Benninger, who <clears throat> has been Kirk's right-hand man for many years, responsible for <clears throat> building and controlling the cost of construction of the International, has been an associate of uh, Kirk Accordions for many years, uh, yet very few people have ever heard of Fred Benninger. Lesson number eight. He's an Armenian patriot. He has donated $1.1 billion to Armenian charity. During the 1988 Armenian earthquake, he donated on condition that his name will not be mentioned and that there will be no statue of him. Lesson number nine, he's a buy and sell guy as opposed to buy and hold. For example, he famously bought and sold MGM three times each time for a profit. Lesson number 10, he's the greatest dealer in history. First with $100 million in 1969. Then to corporate raider of Chrysler, GM and Ford. He was the greatest dealer from Las Vegas to Detroit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.